Welcome to my channel, Planning with Maserati and Scripture Writing by Honey. We are going to be doing day 15 of the Scripture Writing for March, which we're focusing on the word comfort. It'll be Luke 16, 25 through uh, 31. Let me write 16 down and, oh, do I need another pen? Hopefully not. Um, so yeah, let's begin. I'm trying to see if there's a black pen here. Because I have a feeling that I'm going to need another one. Uh, let me go into my bag of pens real quick. Because I feel like that pen is not going to work. So how's everybody doing? Oh, here we go. We got a black pen right here. I am doing good. And scripture writing is coming along. How's your scripture writing? I forgot to ask that in the last video. Okay, so 1625 through 31. It's pretty long, so I may just, you know, pause the video for a minute and then come back and talk. But let's read the Bible. So 16... I always think it's this one, but it's 25 through 31. So it's just this section. I thought it was all of this. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what I was thinking when I say Luke 16. But it's 25 through 31, so it's not too bad. But, hey, but Abraham replied, Son, remember that in your lifetime you received your good things, while Lazarus received bad things. But now he is comforted here, and you are in agony. And besides all this, between us and you, between us and you a great chasm has been set in place so that those who want to go from here to you cannot nor can anyone cross over from there to us he answered then i beg you father send lazarus to my family for i have five brothers let him warn them so that they will not also come to this place of torment Abraham replied they have Moses and the prophets let them listen to them no father Abraham he said but if anyone from the dead goes to them they will repent he said to them he said to him if they do not listen to Moses and the prophets they will not be convinced even if someone rises from the dead well, so how's everybody? Well, I asked that a few months ago. Sorry. I put 16. I told you. Uh, already is still asleep. Sorry. Yeah, so my scripture writing is a little behind, but I'm getting it, you know, getting it done because that's me. Um... I have already posted for April for um, the scripture writing for the book of, what is it, Ruth? So if we have any other suggestions for the second one or if you want to do In Touch. Um, I have In Touch, I have Table Talk, and I have Our Daily Bread. So any of those we can do. Those are all devotionals, but they have scripture writing, you know, verses on there that we can do. I want to get ahead of the game so that I'm not giving it to you at the last minute. So March has already been, I mean, not March, I'm sorry. April's already been posted for the Book of Ruth. And then we'll find one for May, you know, and so on. So, I want to thank everybody that has suggested. I greatly appreciate it. How's everybody doing with the coronavirus? 
I know we're going to be talking about that for a while. But it's so sad to hear all, you know, the people that are dying from it. The people that are catching it. Their immune systems, I hope, are, you know, okay where they will still be okay. They're talking about shortness of breath. Can't breathe. It is sad. It's like so sad that people are dealing with this on a day-to-day -day basis. It is so sad. When you think you have it bad, somebody else has it worse. Like my upper respiratory is not as bad as somebody having the coronavirus. You know, I get the cough, you know, I'm in the middle of a customer and I'll be coughing away. The other day, like tears literally ran down my face and I wasn't even crying. That's how bad my cough was. And I'm like, oh. Why? Why do I have this cough? And I'm, you come home and you hear the news about people dying from this. And people can't leave their house because they're quarantined. And I'm like, how? How does people survive with this? I got to figure another way to film these videos because my big old hands are always in this video. I went from the corona to my hands. Wow. I'm looking at it from the the view of my side and I'm like, how are these people seeing this? I mean, all they're hearing me talk, but how are they seeing the scripture reading? So I definitely need to get, you know, that long arm. YouTube is not paying where I can just buy everything I need. Uh, I would love to have beautiful videos where these guys can see me writing it. It's directly on the page, you know, not focused on my hand. So, yeah. I am trying to catch up with everything. When I come home from work, I am so tired. Even though we barely have customers now because of this coronavirus. Like, everything is just based on this coronavirus. No customers. Stores closing. Um, people out of work. It is ridiculous. And then you don't realize when you're dealing with customers is one thing and then when you don't have a customer you're like so bored like i miss my customers especially the regulars the regulars yeah i do miss them like because you know what they want you know they're easy to deal with not at first because they're so picky on what they want but once you get to know what they want and you've been there for a while for a while, then you realize you know you got their food down, you know exactly what they want, and you're good to go. I'm like all over the place today. I got this pen from work and I am loving it. I went to go to Staples to get it. They don't even have it. I'm like, oh my gosh, this pen writes beautifully. It's the Staples Gel 0.7. I'm like, are you kidding me? How do you not have this pen? And they just picked it up from there. So I need to go to another Staples and get a pack of these. Because these, like, they're not expensive. They cannot be expensive. They don't even know, you know, where they're at in their store. But I'm like, these things here? Oh my gosh. They write beautifully. They're dry. They, they're dry. They quick to dry. 
that that made any sense. Because usually with gel pens, you touch it, it'll smear. Not with these, they, they dry quickly. Did I just mess up? Somewhere I did 28 and skipped a whole. Okay, where did I skip? Okay, so I'm just going to write 29 here and just write 28 here. I'm like so blabbermouth right now that I skipped one. I missed the part about the five brothers. And if you make, you know, like a mistake like this, don't stress about it. You know, don't rewrite it. Just bring the verse down and just move on. I know it's not going to make sense until you read 28 and then read 29, but at least you know you didn't just skip over it. Sometimes these words just look, you know, the same to me. Makes my eyes cross-eyed or something. But don't beat yourself up if you um, made a mistake like I just did. I'm just going to move on from it. So I did 27, 28, 29, and 30. That way, I have them all and... You could even write yourself a little note stating, you know, put a little post-it, read, you know, you made a mistake here. So later on when you're reading it, you're not, you know, messing up again by reading it backwards or something. Which I probably will do, so when I go to read it, I'm like, what? What did I do? Because you're going to forget. One day you're going to read this and you're going to be like, what did I do? So this is a really good passage. It's talking about, you know, if they're not listening to, you know, Moses and the prophets, how are they going to listen you know, be convinced that someone is rising from the dead. If you're not listening, how are you going to be convinced? Well, that's a very good one. There's a lot of, like, good things to learn from the Bible. A lot. It only makes a lot of sense, too. The only thing with this pen is making my fingers fall asleep. Some pens do not. This one is doing it right now. Like, I could literally feel my fingers falling asleep. This is a decent one. I like it. I like when the... I'm not gonna lie. I like when the verses are long. I am like seriously messing up with these words. And um, I like when they're longer. It's like quality time with these. I like it. So what is everybody's weekend looking like? Mine, I am off and I am going to be relaxing, probably, you know, straighten up my office. Other than that, that's it. Get a little cleaning done, maybe cook. And I'm good to go. So yeah, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.
hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. And I hope you enjoy this video. Let's set up for tomorrow before I let you go. I like this green washi. It's very cute. It has that little pop of red, I think it is. Red or pink? I think it's pink. But it's so adorably cute. And this is a good way to store your washi too. Like, store it on cards, store it on old credit cards that's, you know, useless, that you're not using, and they're like company, you know. You don't have credit on there or something. I don't want you to store it on something that you're actually using. So, Romans. Even gift cards that are done that, again, you don't use. What do I do here? You know, I still have to do February. March 16th. So there you have it. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye-bye.